Hi, I'm Casey Johnson. I'm a fourth grade math teacher. Today we're going to be talking about the FOIL method and how you'd use it in your fourth grade classroom. A FOIL is an acronym that stands for first, outside, inside, last. Let me show you how you'd use that. It's a method of multiplying numbers. So let's say I was multiplying 23 times 46. The first thing I'm going to do is break these up into their expanded notation. So 20 plus 3 times 40 plus 6. And then I'm going to multiply the first numbers. 20 times 40 is 800. The outside numbers, that means these two out here, 20 times 6, which is 120. The inside numbers, which is 3 and 40, hey, that's also 120. And then the last is 3 times 6, which is 18. Add these up, and I'm going to get... Now you'll notice what I'm doing here is I added these three in my head. 1,058. Now, let me show you where this comes, comes from. And this might help your students understand this method as well and give them another way of multiplying their numbers. So we had 23 times 46. If you represent this as a rectangular array, that's 23 by 46. Now I'm going to break this into 20 and 3 and 40 and 6. Now I just need to find the area of each section and add them up. 20 times 40 is 800. Now this section is 20 by 6, which is 120. This section is 3 by 40, which is 120. And this section is 3 by 6 which is 18. You can see those are the same four numbers. If you add them up, you'll get the same answer. And then I'll even have students that will take this even further and just draw their box like this and go 46 and 23 and multiply it the exact same way. So this way they don't have to draw it to scale. So whether your students use the traditional FOIL way that I showed earlier, this way or this way, they'll get the same answer. They'll have the same numbers in each one. And it's a good visual way if you use one of these two to help them understand multiplying two-digit numbers together.